Hey guys, Wasn't Freli here. So in this video, I am going to show you that how you can create events and the booking functionality in your WordPress based website. So right here, you can see that I have already prepared a demo for you so that you already know that what we are going to create in this video. So right here, you can see there is the event. This is the title for the event, the maximum capacity that you can easily set up, the date for the event, and then the location and the time for the event. Additionally, I have set it up two payment option here so that customer can choose whether they want to visit us and uh, want to watch the live event or they can join us on the zoom event so i have already assigned the 10 spots for the live event and 100 spots for the zoom event so for example if customer will want to buy a live event ticket they'll choose one spot here and then they'll have to click on this continue button i haven't set it up a payment gateway here so there is no payment gateway attached yet but once we'll set up the payment gateway, this form will be used to accept the payments as well. So customer will have to fill out their first name, last name, email and phone number. And then they'll have to choose the appropriate payment information. And after that, once they'll click on this confirm button, their reservation or their booking will be completed. And then they can choose one of these options if they want to include this into their Google Calendar, or Yahoo Calendar or iCall Calendar or Outlook Calendar. So this is how it is actually work. So on the back end, if you'll go to this events tab right here so here is the attendees tab if they'll click on this attendees you can see the number of reservation that you have so in this way you can also track that how many people have already purchased the tickets for the events that is going to happen so if you are interested in learning that how you can create this kind of bookings into your wordpress based website then without further ado let's get started now so right here you can see that i am already logged into the wordpress dashboard so the first thing that you have to do is to go to the plugins section and then from the plugin section you can click on this add new button and then you can search for Amelia and once you will search for this Amelia you'll see this plugin right here simply click on install and then activate this plugin I already have this plugin installed right here so if I'll just show you right here you can see we have this Amelia plugin installed once you will install this plugin and activate this plugin you will see this option right here Amelia for that we are going to create the event so simply click on this events button right here and in your case it should be blank so what you will have to do is to simply click on this new event button right here and then you can start filling out all of these details so for now what i want to do is to create one more event so i already have created this event i want to create this event right here uh, the title of this event is this so i'll copy this title and then i'll insert the title right here then i'll have to choose the date for the event so for the date it is going to be april 27th and the day is the thursday so i'll click on this dates and it is going to be april 27th and once again choose april 27th in the time field i want to choose the time for the 8 pm 8 pm is going to be i think 20 and then it will have the duration of about two hours so for here i'll choose 22 from address so that you can set up your own address here you can insert your address right here so for now i'll copy one of the address that we have already on the website so i'll go to the website and then in the events tab right here we have this as the location so i'll copy this location and then i'll insert this location right here and then for the organizer I can choose one of the employees that I have added. So this is going to be the organizer and then you can add further description about this event right here. After that, I'll hit save button here so that all of our changes will get saved. Now we should be able to locate our event that we have added. But the reason why we cannot see it here because we are only seeing the dates from 3 April to 9 April. So we'll have to filter this out up to 30 April. And in this way, we'll be able to locate our event. So right here, you can see this is for the April 27th. I'll click on this edit button again, and then I'll go to this pricing tab. So for the pricing tab, for now, I wanna keep this one as the $10 per spot. And for the maximum allowed spot, I want to keep 20 spots. In case you have multiple pricing options, like you have live event and a online event, then choose the custom pricing option from here. It will automatically disable the above option and then in here you can type in the live event and then you will have to choose the maximum spots. So for example for the live event I'll type it live and then for the live the pricing is $10 and we have a maximum spots of 10. I want to add one more pricing category and I'll name this one as zoom 
and for the zoom we have a pricing of five dollar and we have a maximum spots of 20. then you don't have to do anything else here simply click on this customize button and if you have any image that you want to display in the event gallery like i had that featured image or the cover image for the event you can choose that image here and then you can choose any of the colors here so i'll choose this purple color because it matches with the color of my website and then the last thing that you have is this settings so if you will click on this general you have this option that says minimum time required before cancelling so i generally choose 12 hours so that customer can only cancel their appointments or bookings prior to 12 hours of starting the event and then for the payments i want to choose the on site if you want to disable the payment simply uncheck this for now i'll toggle this on and then we have this integration option i do not want to integrate anything i'll simply click save right here and in this way we have just added one more event and this is appearing right here now if i go back to the events page that we have and if i refresh this so now here you can see we have two events showing automatically let me show you that how you can display all of these events right here so i'm using elementor page builder i'll click on edit with elementor button and then from here i want to remove this and in this search widget i'll search for amelia and i want to choose amelia events because these are events and you will have this short code automatically appearing right here for the show type i want to choose list and for the preset booking parameter i will toggle this on so that we have select event show all events and then i'll hit update in some cases if you want to display any specific event you can choose those events from here if you also want to display the recurring events you can toggle this on currently we don't have any recurring event so that is why i'm not toggling this on so if i go to our website now again you should be able to see the same thing so right here we have these two events appearing just like this so let me now show you that how you can add a recurring event in amelia so for that i have one of these recurring events that says every monday downtown and this is the location so i'll copy the location and then i'll click on new event i'll add the title and then this time i'll choose this is a recurring event and for the recurring event i'll choose select repeat period i'll choose weekly and every one week and until when we'll have to define so i'll choose like december 2023 and 31st december and then from here i'll have to choose the date so i want to choose this monday up to the final date of december mon monday so i'll choose this monday for the time i'll choose the same 8 pm that is going to be 20 and it will have the duration of about two hours so i'll choose 22 from here after that we can go to this pricing section and let's say i want to choose a simple pricing of ten dollar i'll choose ten dollar and for the maximum allowed spots i'll choose 20 spots then we can go to this customized tab and again we can change the color and add the image and then for the settings we will again have the same things so the only thing i want to include in here that is minimum time required before cancelling and then i'll hit save now we'll just have to wait so right here you can see all of these recurring events are automatically added right here the only thing we have to do is to go to the front end of our website and if we refresh our website we should be able to see the recurring dates for the events that we have added now we have this recurring event appearing just like this so this one is for the 3 to 25 and then all of the other dates so right here in the elementor if i refresh this and if i choose the plug uh, widget that we had and if i choose show recurring events it should show the recurring events i'll hit update it won't make any difference because it is already showing all the events that we have so it doesn't actually matter so right here we have all the recurring events so in this way you can add simple events and the recurring events into your wordpress based website i hope you have liked this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you very much i'll see you in the next video